everyone. We are coming to you live. This is Chamber Chatter Live, live from the Leadership Institute for the Puyallup Sumner Chamber of Commerce. I'm Tara Doyle, the CEO, and we are here with our Leadership Institute Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We are in our final day. We've been meeting for six months, one Friday every month. Our fearless leader is Kent Hojum, the CEO Woo -hoo! of the Bear. Has really taught us all about what being a great leader is. I hope next year that many of you in the community will opt to join us. But why we are here is because our class has decided to do a community project. And what we have done this year is we have we have actually decided to raise money for the St. Francis House. So what I'd like to do, sorry I'm going out of order, I just realized. <laughs> That's what happens when you go live. What I'd like to do is have Kathy Horton from our class tell you what we learned about St. Francis House. Thank you, Tara. So we're really excited to support St. Francis House um, through the leadership group. Um, they are vital in our community. They've been serving the community since 1974. They have an amazing programs of a clothing bank. They do backpack programs. They do emergency assistance, homelessness programs, resources. Um, they do an ELS, ESL program, which I had to ask somebody, what was that? It's an English second language. So they actually help families um, to speak English so they can better themselves in their jobs, kids in their schools. It's an amazing resource. Um, and they also have meal programs. So they're serving thousands of members in our community and we wanted to give back to them and show them that we are supporting them in all this stuff that they do for you all up in the surrounding areas. Great. So the, so the St. Francis House was part of what we learned about servant leadership. We also had many other topics and other great things we learned. And we have Terry Bethel here to tell us a little bit about what she loved about this program. Oh, both of you together, go for it. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm Holly Ball. I'm Terry Bethel. We love this Leadership Institute. Uh, just been a great opportunity to meet people within the community, to tour different businesses, to connect with some great leaders. Yep. What to keep to keep growing. Um, I feel like there's always an opportunity to learn uh, and to be better at whatever you do. I happen to be in leadership, so this has just given me more uh, substance to take back to my team, my personal life, everywhere involved. Um, leadership will help you no matter what. I say if you have the opportunity next year and you can join this group, you should definitely do it. Definitely. Okay. Great. Do Great. it. Great. 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 All right. So for the reason we are here today is because we have for three months been selling raffle cards. But what we've been doing to make it a little fun and interesting is divide ourselves up into teams. So here to tell us about the two teams and what some of the prizes are, I have first uh, Luke Corum that's representing Team Corum. Come on up. Hey. I'm Luke Corum, so there we split our uh, our class into two. So there was Team Corum, which are right partly behind you, and then uh, the uh, Team Chick Fil A. So we did a, did a uh, competition to see who could sell the most raffles. So first, we're gonna uh, raffle off to see who wins. There's four chances to win. So uh, what's the what are the prizes? Oh, so you the biggest one is the Chick Fil A $500 gift card. The second one is a uh, detail down at Piat Nissan. And then uh, the third one is a mall uh, gift certificate, and the fourth one was? It's a, an affair to remember. A uh, uh, great package yeah, for right. the fair. We've got some community events and gift cards uh, to restaurants, yeah, so yeah, plenty to give. So we have Mike Lehman here as well that's representing Team Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> right, so soon we'll find out who won, whether it was no. Team Corum or Team Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Uh, I'm obviously pulling for Team Chick Fil A, uh, but it was a it was a great competition. It's it's been a great fundraiser for us. I've really enjoyed uh, getting to know this group, and I would encourage you if you have the opportunity to be a part of the Leadership Institute next year. Uh, but the uh, the the prize offered by Chick Fil A is a $500 catering delivery, and it will be catered and delivered by our mascot, the cow. Woo! So it should be a lot of fun. Nice. Okay. All right, so what we're first going to do is unveil who the winner of the competition is, which team. So the great news is that we raised $4,500 for St. Francis House. So truly, truly, truly the winner is the St. Francis House. The part that I wasn't expecting is truly how close this race was. You won't even believe it. Oh my gosh. So we are at a 
difference of one card. Wow. Oh! <laughs> one card. There's ten dollars extra that was donated. Don't know who those cards would have gone to or how that could have predicted our fate, but this is where we landed with all the cards counted. So in no particular order, <laughs> Team Corum sold 224 cards. Woo! Woo! Yeah! And Team Chick-fil-A sold 225 cards. <laughs> gets a, a few more things. <laughs> four, four tickets to the grandstand show of their choice for each member of the winning team, with a few exclusions, and two <laughs> tickets per uh, the, the other team, the, uh, the other team, to a grandstand show of their choice. So that's what Excellent. they're gonna win. <laughs> with this many of you out in the community signed up immediately through Facebook bought tickets showed up at the farmers market to buy tickets we really appreciate your support we are so anxious to uh, provide sister Pat and all those at the st. Francis house $4,500 on Tuesday at our leadership graduation but now for the other winners the ones who bought tickets what we are going to draw for first is the affair to remember a family affair so we will have the Washington State basket that includes Tickets to the fair, concert tickets as yep. well. Um, and then we also have a Fitness Quest that has offered us one month of free membership along with five private training sessions and Crockett's Public House that has provided us some free gift cards to the restaurant. So that winner we will have Kent draw. Luke hold it up nice and high so we can't see. Not too high. <laughs> I'm not a chair. No favoritism to any team. And Kent, you can read it. The winner is was sold by Ivy to Mark Whoop. Frey. Whoop. Mark Frey, nice, Mark good job. Won. the South Hill Mall. Thank you, Patty Summers, who's also on our board, and all the leadership at South Hill Mall. You're a great community partner. And that's for a $100 gift card. So who's our winner for the gift card? I knew I was going to win. I just, I just thought I'd win. Hang on. <laughs> Say the team, too. Team Chick-fil-A. It was sold by Daryl Kane. Oh! To Nyla Kane. <laughs> we got some nepotism going on here, but that's okay. That's fabulous. I know Nyla will love it. So this is the Bill Corms PL Nissan full detail. Two hundred fifty dollar value. I was sold by Team Corum. By online, sold online. The winner is Michelle Holden. Michelle Holden, congratulations. I don't know if you're watching. I'm sure someone will get the word to you. We will definitely call and email you today. Congratulations. And drum roll, okay. please. And drum roll, please. This is for our brand $500 gift card, Chick-fil-A catering with the Chick-fil-A cow. And the winner is? Team Chick-fil-A, it was sold by Holly Ball. <laughs> and the winner is Patty Hoganson. Thank you so much. Woo!